Hi, Year 11. Um, I hope that you're well. I hope you've been okay. It's been a really funny, strange old week, but I wanted to do a little keeping in touch video um, just to say hello um, and to ask how you're doing. Um, thanks to those of you who've got back to us. Mr. Ormond and I have been calling around and checking and emailing on you all this week just to see that things are okay. Um, and lots of you are absolutely brilliant and fine, and, and a few of you are wondering really what to do um, and in terms of how much work to do and what kind of work you should be doing. I know there's a bit of confusion and, and perhaps a little bit a lack of motivation, which is totally normal. Um, but I thought that I would tell you today about something exciting that's going up on the Google Drive um, to help you with your next steps. Um, so I hope that this week has been a good mixture of um, rest and work and that you've accessed the Google Drive. If you haven't already, check it out, have a little look on there. Um, you will find now, um, extra to what's been on there already, a folder at the bottom that is called Preparing for um, Post-16, Year 11 Preparing for, for Post-16, it says at the bottom. It's the very last folder um, on the Google Drive under the Work From Home folder. And in that folder, you will now find a document for each of the subjects that we offer at A-Level. So for those of you who've chosen your A-levels, you could have a look and see what kind of work there is available for you to do over the holidays or over this next couple of weeks. For those of you who are thinking about college or apprenticeships or the world of work, that's okay too. Do have a look at these folders, have a look and see what's in there. Um, and uh, for you, I would just fo be focusing on English and maths, um, just so that you are ready to get going as soon as that college opens up in September. So for those of you who are thinking about A-levels then, you will find in that folder um, a document for each of your subjects. In that document, you will find something to listen to, something to um, read and something to watch. And each of the pieces of work should take you around about two or three hours. Um, for, um, uh, in terms of your motivation to try and help you to kind of give you some guidance, um, it's a really clear document that tells you what kind of things that you can do. So for example, in English, there is a podcast to listen to, there are some Masalit videos to watch and some questions to answer on that. And there are also um, uh, some articles for you to read. So it's divided up really clearly to give you good guidance on the kind of things that you could do to help yourself get ready for September. Also in that folder, you'll find um, information on your extended project qualification. Now, lots of you will know what that is already and some of you might not. So have a look in that folder and see what kind of things there are for you to do to prepare yourself for this extended project qualification. Um, it's an amazing um, project that means that you can do something on whatever you would like to do and you can get started thinking about um, the kind of things that you'd like to focus on for that um, qualification that will last this whole next year. I would really recommend that you think about a timetable if you haven't already and try to piece together how you might use these documents to help you um, over the next couple of uh, months. We've obviously got a week until Easter holidays now so um, think about how you might use these things over the next week and then uh, after Easter we'll get back in touch um, and we'll see how you are doing then. If you have any questions please ask Mr Ormod or I, email us or um, uh, reply when we email you. Um, but uh, we trust you to find a really good balance of this work so um, just make sure that you are doing what you would like to do. I'll be in touch again after Easter so happy learning, enjoy and um, enjoy getting prepared for uh, your next steps. Bye bye.